Retro Rocket 130. So first off, uh, I'll try to break these episodes into uh, into you know. For, uh, first, I'm going to try to always do a graphic a novel page. This one's just showing the advanced one I showed yesterday, and I'll be showing different pages. I probably will never show the finished work. When I get it finished, I probably won't show it because I'll want people to see that in the context of a story and hopefully get it published online or some other way. Um, been wanting to work with my friend uh, Wayne Owens. Haven't seen him in years, but we've talked about a project online and I was hoping to get to it you know, at least a couple of years ago, and I've just been overwhelmed uh, taking care of my parents, which is the biggest part of my life. They're 86 and in very poor health. So uh, I'm hoping now that I've kind of become a shut-in with them uh, because I really can't go out much or do anything other than making food runs for them. or I'm very limited what I can do. Uh, as an artist, I would love to have meetings in person with Wayne and and get our project moving forward, but uh, that hasn't really been possible. So I'm going to try to daily do an update on working on some props without explaining too much what it's about. Um, these are some. Uh, I almost dropped them. These are some orange lid caps and I'll just let those fall on the floor that I've collected quite a few of them. and basically these are going to be parts of a tower to a practical model of a castle so these will be kind of the upper parts of the tower and that is something I'm going to try to do updates on uh, daily as I work on it and then some of the other props and things for a web series like project that, that I'm trying to do uh, with Wayne. I don't, I'm let him talk about it. I, I don't know, he may have got somebody else because I've taken so long. It's, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and keep working on it and if it doesn't work out and we can't make it happen, maybe I'll do something else with it. But I, I'm hoping that uh, I can make that happen because he's he's more articulate than I am and um, has a better presence in video than I do. This is kind of keep practice so I can speak. That's why I started doing these. Um, if I ever got the quality up, I would go a different direction. Anyway, uh, next subject, I kind of want to talk about Star Trek and Star Wars. I don't want to do a review on Star Wars. Um, I think I just want to talk about why all the hate. Uh, if somebody doesn't like the movie and they have criticism, I've read a lot of criticism, I really have no problem with any of the criticisms of the movie. Uh, there's, I can pick any movie apart and it doesn't make me a better movie maker or better artist or anything. It just means I can rip, anybody can rip a movie apart. But people that do have legitimate criticisms of the movies that make sense to me, I can't say they hurt my enjoyment or I have friends that hate Star Wars. I don't hate them because they hate Star Wars because I can see why you wouldn't like it. Uh, Alice Guinness that played Obi-Wan didn't like Star Wars. I don't think Harrison Ford particularly liked Star Wars. But I but like them both as performers and actors and I can understand why they didn't like aspects of it. You know? So... Uh, I, I hope everybody can agree to disagree and kind of all the crazy hate and saying George Lucas sucks or so-and-so sucks. To me, that's not even a criticism or argument. That's kind of a, a statement of your opinion, but it doesn't have much value. So, um, you know, if you want to break down 
why you disagree with decisions made within something. I understand that. On Paramount, on the, changing the subject to the other star, Star Trek, uh, Axanar, which was a kind of a professional fan-based series, has been sued by Paramount. And I guess they raised over a million dollars with the crowdfunding. I'm not sure if it was uh, what crowdfunding source they raised it on. I, that's kind of disappointing. I kind of wondered how they were getting away with it because it was looking too good. And I'm an old Star Trek fan, and I really don't have any desire. I've seen all the Star Trek movies in the theaters, but I have no plan to see the next one. I'm 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 just tired of the Enterprise blowing up. I'm tired of. I don't really like planet-based uh, Star Trek. I was hoping they were going to get out there and explore space, but. I don't know. Just from the first trailer, it just it's not my thing. If you like action movies and you just want to see Star Trek as a good popcorn movie, that's fine. It's just maybe I'm too old. I, I you know, um, I may just be locked into things of the past and can't advance with faster-paced storytelling. Um, I don't care for the design of uh, the new Star Trek movies that are out. So I'm kind of like going, okay, hoping, I was really hoping Axanar, I really enjoy the fans advancing uh, better and better quality movies that I thought were really competing with what Paramount was doing. That's probably why Paramount sued Axanar. So I'm a little disappointed in that, but um, you know, I'm I'm not really protesting by not going to the next movie. I just I'm not interested. Leonard Nimoy's dead, and kind of a lot of what I liked about Star Trek kind of died with him. I, and but I, the new cast I think is just great. Um, you know, I like the faster pacing. So there are things I like about the new Star Trek movies. But I don't like the writing. I don't like... But I, I'll be quite honest. Of all the Star Trek movies, only four of them I thought were good. I've never thought there's been a really great Star Trek. I thought Wrath of Khan was good. And some of the others. But I never thought there was really a great Star Trek movie. I think it works better on TV. Um, one to see what the more professional fans could do with it and would like to see perhaps the studio system go away and we'd have more crowdsource funding. I'd like to see what socialism <laughs> mixed with capitalism in this, in this kind of balance that crowdsource funding is what it could produce. Maybe it can't produce anything of great quality, but I'd like to see how far it could go. Um, so I guess that's kind of it for today, just kind of rambling on. And um, tomorrow. <laughs>